Hello everyone. I thought it was about time I did an update on the studio that I built from a shed. And you can see the original video about the build here. I've had an amazing response to that video. So I thought about a year and a half now down the road, how has it been? How have I got on with it? Have there been any setbacks along the way? But, or has it actually been really worthwhile? Well, good news, first of all, is that yes, it has been really, really worthwhile. The studio has paid for itself multiple times over now. Having a dedicated space where you can just lay out all your stuff as you can see behind me is so productive and such an advantage than, for example, setting up in a room in the house where you have to tidy everything away so that you can eat your dinner, for example, off the dining table. In here, I could be as tidy or as messy as I like. I don't have to worry about packing anything away. I can leave it just as I want to leave it. Now, as you would see in my previous video about the build, this, this uh, studio is completely insulated, it's watertight, um, and then it's been boarded out on the inside so that I can put up shelving and pictures. It has been fantastic in both warm and in cold weather. Uh, it's now been through two winters and I have here on the side a small electric heater which is very efficient, um, very economical to run and it's absolutely perfect for the size of the space here. I have had some issues on the outside of the building with the amount of heat that is generated in the sunshine on that side and one of the external boards has warped very slightly and has come away from the board above it so I need to have a look at that and see if I can try and soften the wood and push it back in place but apart from that structurally nothing has gone wrong with the shed so big thumbs up there to power sheds which is where I brought this from um, this isn't sponsored by them in any way, shape or form, um, but this has been a brilliant, brilliant shed. Absolutely fantastic. I've got a set of windows in front of me, which although they face our house, they do allow a lot of light through and also to the, the northeast window, which is here, where you can see the natural light coming in. In fact, I've got no lights shining directly on me for this video. I've got a few LED spotlights above which is kind of give a bit of atmosphere um, and I have got a, an angled lamp here. I've had a change around in the space. Uh, I've now built a workbench at the very back of the studio and underneath that has got the storage for all of my completed framed paintings, older, larger canvases, which hopefully one day I might sell or I might reuse them. That workbench went in about six months ago, just made out of some scaffold boards and then some laminate flooring over the top, um, it just gives me a nice surface to work from. You'll see that I've now got all my guitars, and my amplifier there, I brought those in from inside to free up a bit of space in the house. So I've, I initially brought this red trolley to put all of my art materials on but I've actually found now that I don't really need to use that. So that's actually going to friends of ours very shortly. And what I've done now is put racking on this side. So I've got all of my art materials now in one place on this side. I've also got a large um, freestanding easel, which I can get out for large canvases to paint on. Otherwise, I paint here on this desk. Uh, this is the original desk that I brought in 2015 to go in our spare room when I first started out as an artist. It's from Ikea and um, it's been fantastic, absolutely brilliant. I'm not too worried about it getting dirty or knocked, but it's plenty big enough. So that's that's been brilliant. I've had a rearrange on the desk. I've got all my coloured pencils out now because what I had them in was a zip-up case, which really wasn't very... Um, Practical for seeing which colours were where, you have to keep flipping over the sleeves that are inside. And also that tended to be tucked away in a drawer, and so I would never really use it. And um, I love coloured pencil drawing, the wildlife art that you've seen on the channel before. So that's kind of there to uh, 
get my bottom in gear to do some more of the drawing because I tend to stick with watercolour painting or acrylic painting. I've also got a CD player now um, and see the shelf of CDs that are above me here. I love my music so I love listening to that. So I think now after 18 months I've actually got the space here to a place where I'm happy with it, it works for me. I'm always looking to be more productive, always looking to find an easier way to do things and just have things laid out. So yeah, it's it's worked really, really well. I'm so pleased I've I've done this. Um, we've loved having it as a space. Um, so there, yeah, that's a very quick update on the studio. If you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe to the channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, like I said, the previous video, I think it's had over 14,000 views now, which has been absolutely amazing. So until next time, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.